Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And today, if you guys, this is another DreamWorks video. And today, we're actually specifically talking about Puss in Boots, aka Puss in Boots 2, aka, 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 Puss in Boots: The Last Wish, coming in theaters December 21st of this year. Now, Puss in Boots has been a uh, kind of a strange franchise, you know, because it, it's it's in a subsidiary of, you know, it's part of the Shrek universe and all that. But at the same time. Uh, Puss in Boots 1 came out, I believe, in 2011, and uh, I saw it when it came out, of course, I was a kid, but I saw it, I had a birthday party there, I saw I remember seeing it in the, I think it was the Regal, you know, it was, it was a mall, I don't know, it was some kind of theater, and we saw it in there, and, you know, I had all the all the pizza and the juice boxes, we saw it in 3D, it was sick, um, this is before I had my glasses, so I was, of course, blind, and I couldn't really have to see what was going on, but, you know, it was still fun, and, uh, you know, from that, we were like, wow, I actually saw Puss in Boots again, my mom and I went to... Um, Regal before, of course, they closed that down. Good job. Uh, and I, I, you know, I saw it again, and that was a lot of fun. It was a good movie. And upon rewatching Puss in Boots one, I was like, this is a good freaking movie. Like it holds up really well. The animation's good. The voice acting's really good. It's funny. It's entertaining. It's very. It's got a good plot. You know. So the Last Wish looks really good, and they are kind of doing that new and uh, you know new. I guess uh, not new, but you know different animation styles. DreamWorks kind of adopt, adopted and kind of I, I want to say stole from Spider Man into the Spider Verse. The bad guys kind of had a little bit of it. Um, I don't know how to effing word it. it, it it's like a, a mesh of like 3D classic animation. So think of like the first Puss in Boots, but like more... <clears throat> I don't know. I, don't, I can't word it. it. It's basically like a 3D movie with like 2D assets stuck in it. It's really weird. And uh, it looks good though. You know, it's very aesthetically pleasing. It's very intense looking. You know, there's a lot of really cool shots in the new trailer, which I'll link in the description down below if I can remember, which probably will. Um, you know, it looks really awesome. It looks really cool. And we're seeing Puss and Moose do, you know, even uh, the, the girl, I don't, I don't remember her name. But, you know, they're all doing these crazy cool moves, and the animation is just very, like, uh, kind of wavy. Just looks really fun to look at, and it is something different than the traditional 3D animation. Now, of course, in this film, Puss and Boots is older. He's kind of like, uh, I guess, Old Man Logan or freaking Indiana Jones 5, I guess, where he's just kind of, uh, you know, I have Puss and Boots, but I'm at the end of my journey. You know, that kind of thing. And he's kind of dying. Not dying, but, well, he actually is dying. I should say that. I think that's the thing. He's down to his last wish, a.k.a. he's down to his last life. So, yeah, he's uh, he, he dies quite a lot, actually. He dies, like, I think, eight times. And this is basically his final life. If he dies again, he's dead for good. And uh, it's kind of a comedic take on, you know, Cat has nine lives type of trope. But they do that in a really cool-looking way. Again, I didn't see the movie comes out next year or next next month, but it should be a lot of fun to see where the story goes. Of course, there's a lot of humor, a lot of crazy cool characters, and of course, seeing Puss in Boots come back. And they're actually saying that it's in the Shrek universe is really cool as well, because you know, I think Shrek is one of those franchises where it's good, but it's also not good. Like you know, like I'll watch them; they're fine movies, Shrek one to four. But there's a lot of like fart jokes and poo jokes and, and burping and all that. And, you know, it's like. It, it's 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 funny to a degree, but I think you know Shrek really got popular because of the memes and the song and the you just don't stop coming. And, hey now, you're an all star, you know that song. And uh, it's not a horrible song, but it's just, it's synonymous with Shrek. You hear that effing song, you go, oh man, it's a Shrek song. You know what I mean? Uh, donkey, get out of a swamp, donkey. You know what I mean? That's that's all you think of. You know, I'm an organ and organ us have lead us. You know, it's, that's just what it is. But. Is the movie actually good? Yeah, but you know, I do think the movie isn't as good as it could be. I think Shrek one, two, four, one through four, isn't the best of DreamWorks in my in my opinion. <clears throat> opinion, you gotta see that <clears throat> opinion. I do think that you know, Puss in Boots is really good. How to Train Your Dragon one, two, three is really good, and of course, my favorite. You guys should know this if you know me. Is Rise of the Guardians. That is by far my favorite DreamWorks. By far one of my favorite movies of all time. Rise of the Guardians. Uh, and to see, you know, this, I guess, franchise going forward, you know, because DreamWorks had kind of a, a I guess, a, a falling off, like a few bummer years where, you know, there'd be a DreamWorks movie to rival the Disney movies or the Pixar movies or the Illumination movies or whatever, or a Lego movie, and all of a sudden, DreamWorks kind of, like, fell off the freaking map. They just, like, fell off the side of the earth and they just, they kept falling, you know, and then finally they were, like, falling through time and then Doctor Strange opened a freaking portal and they went, and they're back, you know. So we got, like, the, of course, um... Uh, what was it? Uh, bad guys. There was some horse movie I didn't see. So there's some stuff like that. But you know, DreamWorks hasn't been making movie, 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 movie like they have been. So to see them actually getting back to the roots with Puss in Boots 2, back to that Shrek era where everything basically kind of kicked off for them in a way, um, it is kind of cool to see that. And it doesn't look bad. It looks fun. Again, I enjoyed the first Puss in Boots movie. I think he's one of the better characters in the Shrek uh, franchise. And to see him actually getting his own movie is pretty freaking cool. You know, it's like it's like Batman in the Lego movie. It's like, oh man, that's cool. He's funny. 
But if they made a movie, I don't know, and then they make the Lego Batman movie, and it's like, oh my god, they effing did it. It's like one of the best DC movies of all time. One of the best films I've ever seen, period, animated-wise. And just animated. Why did I say that weird? Animated. And just in general. You know, it's a great movie. All four Lego movies are freaking gold. But at the same time, to have, uh, you know, kind of a supporting character in a legitimate, like, in a movie, let alone having a sequel to that movie with The Last Wish... It's pretty insane. Couple that with, again, amazing looking animation, which is very different. Again, a lot of the, uh, you know, traditional 3D animation has been kind of different, but to see it kind of getting a mix of both, you know, kind of into the Spider-Verse, bad guys, I don't even know how to, like I said, I don't even know how to word it, but it is different and it looks really good, and, you know, it just makes the action scenes more artistic. It's almost like watching a Puss in Boots comic book, you know, it's really cool. And to see that, that you know, we're getting that different aesthetic for the film, pretty insane. So again, Puss and Boost the Last Wish is going to be opening in theaters uh, December 21st of 2022. Tell me what you guys think. Are you excited for Puss and Boost 2? What's your favorite DreamWorks film? I think mine would obviously be Rise of the Guardians, but you know, Shrek isn't my favorite. Let's be honest. If it wasn't for the memes, I don't know if it would even be that popular. But at the same time, I do think Puss in Boots is a good character. He's funny. And the first movie was really freaking good. So hopefully they can do that character good again. Do him justice again with a good film with Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. Again, I wanted to make a different type of video today. But I saw the trailer online and I watched it. I was like, oh, that's pretty good. You know? So I'm like, oh, I'll make a video on it. So again, trailer link will be down in the description down below if you want to go check it out yourself. Um, of course, I would assume you, you've already seen it if you're watching this video. But I'm looking forward to it. I think it'll be interesting to see where this, uh, you know, franchise goes, where DreamWorks go, you know, goes even as a company, um, you know, because they, they've had a lot of misses, I think, you know, the same with Illumination, I think really Disney and Pixar, I know Disney's woke and they're liberal as hell, but at least they do make quality products when they don't shove messages and agendas down your throat, but that's another video, um, you know, hopefully this one, again, knowing DreamWorks, it probably won't be woke, I hope not, I hope it's just a good animated movie that's made for all age groups, and that's it, and there's no you know, liberal agenda, but at the same time, we'll have to see how that works, but again, different video, I just thought I'd bring that up, because again, Disney, I still think Disney, maybe Lego, but I think, you know, there's more Disney than Lego movies, obviously, um, so, you know, Disney has its faults, but they definitely make, I think, the best animated films I've ever seen, uh, and, and DreamWorks has always been kind of, like, in the shadow, it's always been, like, the little cousin, and then, of course, that's when Illumination came on the scene, and all that, but to see them actually doing another Puss in Boots movie should be fun. Again, going back, it's like, you know, Call of Duty going back to World War II, or freaking, uh, you know, Modern Warfare, or whatever, you know what I mean? It's like that classic going back to your roots and what made you popular type of thing, and uh, hopefully it works out for them. I cannot wait to see Puss in Boots The Last Wish. Uh, hopefully I will be uh, seeing it. Uh, I don't know what theater I'm going to, now that my Regal exploded or whatever happened there, but uh, it didn't actually blow up, don't worry. It's still there, just can't watch movies, but uh, yeah, it should be fun, and again, tell me down below in the comments what your favorite DreamWorks film is, and are you even excited for Puss in Boots 2? I am, I think, like I said, the bad guys is really great, Rise of the Guardian is great, How to Train Your Dragon, great, you know, Shrek is alright, you know, but Puss in Boots 1 was very good, and hopefully in this uh, sequel they can make it even better. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.